fellows in your sport news, and then also we've seen that John Sterling and uh, Bob Hunt can you just update us, especially in that left back situation for the squad. Uh, that there's no left fullback in the squad, <laughs> <laughs> um, or not a natural one. So um, I'm not a coach who likes to. Make, uh, continue making circles when uh, when there's a problem. I, I look for solutions. So it will be another player who will not play in his normal position to to fill that uh, that position and uh, and do the job for the team. So we need to find solutions. Like, that, not having a natural left back for a game of this, this like I said, you can keep on talking about that and being negative about that. Uh, no, then somebody else needs to step in and, and do the job for the team. So I expect everybody to attack together, to defend together, to move together. So um, this position also, you have different things to do. So attacking, defending, it's the same with, with midfielders. They're sometimes attackers, they're sometimes defenders. So I want that mindset for my players and, and that somebody steps in, maybe in a in a different way than he did before, but do the job. You have the likes of Ben Davies, you have John Lundstrom that are left footy that can play there, you're confident you've got the, the guys in the squad that can, can fill that gap? I'm confident in the squad, yeah. Is, uh, is Borner's injury is available to take him out for some time for you? Uh, we hope to get him back towards the weekend or at least uh, next week, so it's not a really big one, but of course the, the timing is really bad. Uh, because uh, Ritvan is, is not on this European list. That's a decision made uh, before my time, so I cannot do anything about that also. Uh, Dujon being injured also, so a lot of things come together there. Really good. Sorry. Were you surprised at all, really, given what you've seen of Ritvan so far, that he wasn't on the, the European squad? No, I, like I said last week, it's a white page. It's a new story for all the players uh, getting their chances. I don't look back what happened a few weeks ago or a few months ago. It's not important anymore. Those decisions are made. I don't know with what information or what ideas. It's, it's not important. I have a lot, a lot of other things to do for the moment. It's been a, a very busy week. Uh, and I'm focused on the future uh, with this team and not on the past. Saturday was a very positive performance and result uh, for the players and for the fans. How many more levels? We need to show a better level than, uh, than on Saturday because this is a better team. Uh, they're really good on the ball, good quality players, good structure, good coach also. Um, they play home game, it's also different. So we need to be with all team on our toes. But I saw good signals uh, these last two days with the trainings that uh, everybody is up to a, a great European evening and, and you know those evenings you need to be very focused, very concentrated and you need to take your moments. Philippe, uh, you, you've managed many games in European competition at your previous clubs. Do you think this was a reason that you were the, the outstanding, one of the reasons you were the outstanding candidate to become the new manager of the club? And also how important is European football to you this season? Uh, I cannot answer this question because I didn't make the decision. <laughs> I was just a candidate. Um, but yeah, it's it's of course it's good to have experience in that way uh, and to know uh, what are the important things in these evenings. Uh, it's also somebody uh, evenings that I like, that I love. Uh, all the vibe around European games, also coming in different places, different stadiums. Uh, I had also a really good feeling today when I, I came on the pitch. I just said it to Todd. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember, but uh, when I came in the stadium, I recognized the stadium because more than 20 years ago, we qualified here with Belgium for the uh, World Cup 2002. So those things give some, something special on evenings like that. You, you say you have a good feeling. What, a, what represents positive result? for you tomorrow night is a draw a good result? Do you come here to win? How do you view the game? That depends on the game. And I don't have this crystal ball to already to, to know how the game will, will be, but it can be that it's a really difficult game and at the end uh, we score a goal and, and we get a draw and it's a really good result. 
but I always come and I see also this mentality with the players. We always come, uh, home games, away games, doesn't matter. We play to win. So that's what we're going to try to do. But we know if we can do this here, you make a really important step in this group. Good, good evening, guys. I'm with the Czech News Agency and I would like to ask the coach about uh, your relationship with Brent Priske because he said very nice things about you in the press conference that uh, he admires you as a person, as a coach, and you had uh, you spent great years, a great time. You had a great time in Brooks, and he wishes you good luck, but not in the following uh, weeks. So, what can you tell <laughs> tell us about uh, the relationship with him? Thank you. Yeah, we know each other already a long time. Uh, Brian was before playing in Genk, my, my old club. After he came to Bruges, we played together. Um, we kept in touch the years after because uh, we had a good relationship in the club. Later on, he, he became also coach in Belgium, in Antwerp. So I know him already a long time. He's a really, really nice person. He's also a football addict, so that's a good way to spend good evenings together, uh, that we can talk about football. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a really good person. So I'm happy he said good things about me. He knows also bad things about me also. So. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's going to be great to see each other again um, because it's been a while now. But we are both also people that love each other before and after the game, during the game, it will be a little bit less. Philippe, what, what are some of the key differences when you're going from domestic football to European football? What are some of the key differences for you as a coach, given how you've worked previously? Do you need to adapt more to the opposition? Or are you still trying to dominate as, uh, the ball as much as you would uh, in a league game? No, I, I, want, I want to create a team that, uh, that tries to be dominant every game, also even against teams that are better than us. Um, we, have, we have qualities in, in the squad. Of course, it's the beginning of a story. But I see uh, players with a good focus for the moment in the trainings, in the meetings also. Uh, when we explain which way we want to go, they try to do the right things on the pitch, off the pitch also. Um, so I hope to, to create a story as fast as possible, uh, together to, to make it as strong as possible. And we still have a, yeah, a margin of, of progression for sure. Um, and that's what we're going to work on now, yeah, every three days, uh, the, the next uh, two weeks and a half, we will have six games. So it's going to go hard. We need the squad fit, we need players fit, that, uh, that we can make a good rotation also in that way, that every second of the game we can be sharp in, in the football we want to play. Todd, can I just ask uh, how the difference in confidence has been after the weekend? Has it been a, a big weight lifted for a lot of the players? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, you know, we were we were going for a pretty tough period, um, and yeah, to, to win at home um, quite convincingly was obviously was good for the players, and uh, yeah, it's provided a good confidence boost. Yeah. Gentleman at the back. Good evening, coach. Uh, Paul, Paul Telshara from Czech Radio. What can you tell us uh, about Abdelak Sima? Uh, he seems to be in a good shape. Uh, six goals in previous five games. As you maybe know, he used to play for Slavia Prague here. Thanks. Yes, I know because uh, okay, I played with Genk against Slavia that period also. And I, we bought also Simon Daly in Slavia after when I was in Bruges. So I followed the competition a lot. Um, Abda is doing a really good job this season. Um, he's very motivated, uh, also a soldier for the team, not only thinking about scoring goals and, and giving assists, but also doing his defensive job. What's a really important part of our football also, that everybody needs to work. And if we do it all together, then we are a strong block, what they showed already on, on Saturday in parts of the games. And that's something we, we're going to need tomorrow also. So if somebody is not thinking about himself, he's, he's doing the job for the team. Todd, can I just say, you know, obviously been a frustrating time for you. You've been out injured. You came back at the weekend. Where are you at in terms of physical? Are you kind of 80, 90 percent? And, and do you feel enough you're ready to start a game? Yeah, obviously I, I had um, 
a, a good period out, six weeks really, um, since the injury. But no, I feel in a good place. Um, it was obviously nice to get some, some game time at the weekend and, and physically um, I feel good. It's something that um, has probably been a, a base of my game for a long time, would be my, my overall fitness. So I'm hoping that I'm, I'm in a good enough position, yeah. Todd, I know the manager's sitting next to you, so you're going to have to be nice to him, but <laughs> how has it been? Also, when I'm not sitting here, because yeah. <laughs> I, I will know everything afterwards. Uh, otherwise, he starts yeah, on the bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe now also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been since he's come in? What's changed for you as a group of players since Philippe's come in? Yeah, obviously, you know, as a player, you're, you're going to go through periods where you, know, you experience different managers, different styles. Um, obviously, we were going for a tough period, and it was difficult for for the boys and, and for everyone. But, you know, since the boss has come in, um, you know, he's, he's in, implemented the way he wants to play. He's made it clear, like he said, it's not going to happen overnight. I don't think anyone's got the power to do that to a, a group of 20 lads. But listen, you know, we're, we're all in. Um, we're looking forward to, to the games. And obviously, we, we got off to a great start. So we're excited just as much as you guys. Last couple, guys. So just in terms of being out for that six-week period, how are you as a patient? How are you sitting and standing watching the team, especially when results were tough for the boys? Yeah, no, it was really difficult, really difficult, because like you say, the results um, took a turn for the worse. And, you know, when you're injured, you feel a little bit helpless. Um, although you're in and around the changing room, you can't really affect anything that's happening. And, you know, for someone that, you know, doesn't like being injured, which I'm sure most people don't, it was difficult. But... Um, you know, like I say, we've got to move forward now, and you know we started our, the first game with a really good result, and we're looking forward to to getting out there tomorrow. Todd, you touched upon it a little bit there, but just where does the Europa League fixture in terms of priorities for this squad, and you know for yourself in terms of having a, a stage to show your talent? Yeah, I mean, I think the important thing when you play for a club like Rangers is that you put your personal um, accolades and your, your personal feelings aside. Uh, it's really important that. You know, playing for this club, that you know everything is 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 built around the team and what happens out there tomorrow. Naturally, everyone at Rangers or associated with Rangers wants to go as far as we can. Obviously, history would um, history would show that we've done well in this competition. So, you know, as there's a new a, a lot of new uh, faces, obviously, you want to try and emulate that or or do one better. But you know, I think um, football games are difficult to predict. I think.